Hey everyone, welcome to a new Pokemon news in which we're going to talk about the possible release date for Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond having been released by accident, leaked by an official source of course. And we're also going to look at how many packed Pokemon the Pokemon company has actually officially given us because today they started giving us a new one. And finally we're going to talk a little bit about the beta of Pokemon Unite as well guys, so stay tuned, make sure you watch everything for all the news, all the gossip, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep on top of all of the latest giveaways so you don't miss the latest shiny which we do every Sunday and of course all of the hottest news for Pokemon. There's a lot of news coming as well because of all the new games and there's a lot of leaks to be expected just like there were for Pokemon Sword and Shield and that was what my channel started on and that's where we're going to continue. First piece of news is just a quick reminder of a video I did earlier. This is me doing a trade with bots to get one of the shiny Poiples that I did a giveaway for yesterday so if you guys have missed out on that you can go check out the video that I'll leave a link for at the description in the end in the description all over the place guys for this so you guys can watch it and get all the information so you can get yourselves a shiny poiple. So it looks like the Pokemon company may have deliberately given us a little teaser for the release date of Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond in this episode of their little announcement trailer right? This is it. This is the announcement trailer that we saw and a lot of people pointed out quite a few different easter eggs here and there. People were expecting it just to be a actual one-to-one -one Diamond and Pearl remake but actually it looks like there are some elements from Pokemon Platinum that are here. Uh, such as NPCs that we just saw a second ago down there and maybe some other features but also it does look like there are some features missing. Oh thanks Howie for the join by the way, really appreciate it. <laughs> if you guys are interested in joining too, you can and support the channel further, that's an option. But anyway guys, back to this, I'm going to show you something that might be a convincing piece of evidence for the release date having leaked for this. Now as we know they said late this year, okay, and now people are guessing, well when's that really mean, okay, people suspected it was November. People, I suppose renowned leakers also suggested it may have been November, okay, this year. So let's have a look at the little piece of evidence and that's the that, that statue just changed by the way, so I wonder what that easter egg really means. So Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond, out this year, late 2021. Let's just have a look at how late. The secret is in this frame at 16 seconds into that video, okay, and if we just pull my thing down a little bit right here, you have an interesting little thing down here which is a clock, okay, it's 9 28 and this is possibly a little spoiler as to the exact date when these games are going to go live. Let's have a quick look at September 28th right here on a Tuesday. That could be it guys, that could be the actual release date and the reason is because they actually did this before in the past with Sword and Shield with a little teaser pointing in the right direction, okay? And this down here guys, this was only shown for maybe one second, maybe less. It's really not a long time. The odds of this being a coincidence, this being a random time, the odds of that being the case are slim. So we can take this for now as a small little spoiler or rather a little teaser as to potentially the release date. As you guys probably know about the Sinnoh remakes, they've been dropping loads of little spoiler hint or teasers or whatever you want to call them towards the whole Sinnoh remake situation. They just led us on endlessly with a lot of joke things going on. A little couple of tweets here and there that actually just made people's heads explode. One of the most famous ones is this of course, Let's Go Sinnoh. Now obviously that made people's heads go wild with rumors and gossip on, on the internet all over the place. Things were trending left, right and center. And of course they did come out with Sinnoh you know, remakes but it was not Let's Go, however it was closer to the Let's Go st art style I guess, closer to it, not exactly as it is, but people are pretty happy it's not a Let's Go version, however they were worried there for a second. But again it's just another little teaser in the right direction. So take this what you may guys with this picture here, do you think I'm onto something or do you think that's just a shot in the dark? Let me know down below, have a look at the video yourself and just see what you make of it because this is really not shown for very long. Long. Next up guys is a new Raid Den event, but there's something very very interesting about this Raid Den event. That Hatterim that you're showing there is a G-Max Hatterim, but you can get the G-Max unevolved versions of that Pokemon, which are people are considering glitched or possibly hacked. And I'm going to look at that Pokemon in particular as well as other instances when Pokemon Company themselves have actually given us hacked Pokemon. As you guys know, there was the ban waves recently for people who have hacked Pokemon, things with illegal moves also can never get into random 
ranked battles. Well, I'm here. I just did a raid, and uh, this is the Pokemon you can get. And this is what is this? This is Hatrim in a Dust Ball. There, I caught it, and it has the G Max factor on it. Okay, so I just caught this from a den, and uh, I mean the fact that it has a G Max factor, people are considering is glitched. But this may make it illegal, or may make it a hacked Pokemon because it has something that's not supposed to be able to have. And now the Pokemon Company does have a history of going through uh, events and giveaways or whatever, giving accidental hacked Pokemon. There've been quite a few, including another one recently. But first off, looking at the den here on Cerebi, you can see all the Pokemon you're able to get for this raid den update, and that includes Hatena, the first star, which does not have the G-Max factor, but as soon as we go to the second star, it's still there, but third star, it does have the G-Max factor, and I don't know why. There's not really any particularly special reason for that. But there's a good chance to get Corviknight as well. This is a pretty highly competitive Pokemon, one of the strongest Pokemon, in my opinion, as well worth having, folks. Another G-Max uh, that you can get in these dens. However, if you look back here, you get G-Max Corviknight straight up, which is odd because Hat Hatrim isn't its fully evolved form, but this is, and it's the G-Max one, so that's weird in three stars. Four stars and five stars are what you'd expect them to be, and it's pretty much exactly the same over in the next game, too. So, go knock yourselves out with getting those dens, guys, if you so desire. The items are nothing in particularly special. You get a rare candy and you get some other things. Uh, the usual, I guess. It's nothing special going on there. As for hacked Pokemon, in the past, you may remember the transfer of Alolan Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home when that first started happening, the Pokemon Go Home Transfer became a thing. Well, Dragon Tamer Liam here, this demonstrates us his Alolan Vulpix with Fire Spin, Flame for a Roar and Fire Blast, and this was by no means one time off. A lot of people had that, and the Pokemon Company had to intervene with your Pokemon directly in Pokemon Home to alter them, which I think is really shady. I think it's really, really unfair and really shady stuff going on there, because they can just mess with your Pokemon as, as they see fit. And who knows when they make another big mistake and people get something very valuable and they just decide to undo it. That's not really fair to the owners who get something valuable and rare. Pokemon is a trading game by and large, just that's what it is. So if you get something rare like this, you want to hang on to it with your dear life because this is going to be a once in a lifetime historical moment that you're going to be able to tell your children about and your grandchildren about. You're going to be able to reminisce to the town in stories regaling tales of when you got that fire spin flame through a fire blast lowland Vulpix and people are going to be wondering what the hell you're talking about. But either way, you guys you're going to be have lived your life and you're going to know that you just had that good time. Another one that we just got finished doing was the musical Pikachu, the Sing Pikachu, which is this. For thousands of people, it seems, someone, they either got a male or a female appear in the animation here for the mystery gift, but when they actually got the Pokemon itself in their game, it, it turned out to change gender here. So here is the male one that the person got and it changed to the female when they actually got it. And this is the, this is the event Pokemon that was given out. It's still maybe still going actually. This is the Sing Pokemon, which you can get with the code in one of my previous mm, Pokemon news videos not too long ago. But again, another change that is unexpected and surprising and may make the Pokemon have some sort of legitimacy issues given by Game Freak themselves. Looking at my own past videos, guys, you also see a Riolu appearing in the den there. And when we actually go into it, it's not a Riolu at all. Let's just wait and see. That's me up there. You can see the, almost the top of my head. I think it's really, I had really good hair back then. What's going on now? Who knows? But in this, this is the actual raid. This happened to quite a few people. You actually ended up getting a B-sharp instead, is, instead of the Riolu that it showed at the beginning. So looking at the beginning there again, this is, of course, not me doing the raid. This is Nozo's raid, whoever that may be, with Cerebi, okay? So uh, you could see that Riolu there. That is Riolu's silhouette. Another beautiful instance was this one, the Hydro Pump Drillbur, which was absolutely hands down a big mistake. There seemed to be some sort of mix up in the programming of the raid ends at the time, where it was supposed to be some sort of, maybe some sort of water Pokemon and something got confused with a Drillbur, I don't know. So it had like a mix of everything and it had a Hydro Pump because when the hell does that ever happen? But that was a short lived phenomenon that people got to enjoy for a while. However, this is where the point that these are actually hacked Pokemon Pokemon comes in. This Pokemon was illegal, even though the Game Freak and whoever designed the raids at the time actually gave it to us themselves. We have Panda Wolfie over here talking about it with some other people where you cannot use it on the ladder. When you try to use it on actual ranked battles, it wouldn't allow you because it was an illegal Pokemon. That only happens with Pokemon that have illegal moves or illegal attributes to them, such as shininess possibly, for some Pokemon that have not been released. And that makes it a hacked Pokemon, guys. 
Now, as for whether or not you could get actually in trouble for that, or if anyone got actually got banned for having a Pokemon like that, that would it, that waits to yet be known. But I doubt that's the case. It just goes to show that they're not really able to keep very well on top of where, who has hacked Pokemon, what is a hacked Pokemon, etc., because they happen to be doing it themselves. Just as passing note as well, many of you guys might remember the raid den that you actually got a hacked item from it, and that crashed your game when you finished the raid, which is just bananas. It's just nuts. It was an impossible item that didn't exist, but it came from Game Freak's own programming themselves. Last news of the Pokemon news here, guys, and don't be worrying because I actually do plan to have another video for you guys later that's going to go into some of the leaks about Pearl and Diamond, so we'll get to that a little bit later, but this is about Pokemon Unite today. The Pokemon Unite beta for Canada has officially started, and if you go to the official Pokemon website, you can scroll down here. If you live in Canada, you can hit it up on the Google Play Store and you can join the beta. If any Canadians here do have access to the beta, I would absolutely love if you join my Discord and DM'd me your notes on the game, just so I can have something to talk about or regarding this game before we have to wait before release, you know, because this is very limited beta stuff. Now, of course, there are rules about you taking pictures and videos that you're not allowed to do and all this, but there's not, no one said anything about taking f f notes and passing the notes on. You're, you're still allowed to talk about the game, okay? So, I'd welcome any opinions about the game from people who are playing playing the game over on my Discord and my DMs. My DMs are always open to anybody who wants to do that. That's a wrap everybody. Do like the video if you enjoyed it and thank you for watching everybody. I do really appreciate it. It always means a lot to have such a vibrant and active community of people who watch my videos. Since Considering I came from nowhere only a year ago and this just blew off and took off and we're doing well for ourselves and couldn't be happier about it guys. So thank you everyone who's just been here every time I do a video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one too. Enjoy the rest of them. Till then, guys. Bye.